I don't have time for this, Adam. It's the 4th of July and my schedule is packed. I've got a car wash meet and greet, a mattress store photo op, a hot dog eating contest, and I have to finish writing my big speech for the America Town Independence Day holiday blowout extravaganza. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> Everyone's working really hard to make it great and no one wants you to ruin it. Oh, you see them? They're living the American dream. Here, a little hard work can take anyone from rags to riches. I was born with one leg and no money, but I worked hard. And now I'm a billionaire. I can buy all the legs I could ever want. Sorry, Yunk. America hardly has the highest rates of upward social mobility. In a ranking of 24 countries, we came in 16th. <laughs> How can that be? The truth is, if you're poor in America, no matter how hard you work, the deck is completely stacked against you. Being poor in this country is actually incredibly expensive. If you're living in poverty, you have to spend more on daily necessities, because you can't afford to buy in bulk. <laughs> wow, now I can keep my butt clean in all my vacation homes. What a deal. You know, if I pull apart the double ply, it's actually a two for one. What a deal. And if you have a lower income, you have to spend a larger portion of your budget on basic necessities. Up to 70% of a poor American's income is spent on food, housing, and transportation. After they cover their basic expenses, on average, low-income Americans who only make $15 to $20,000 a year are left with just $1 a day. No, I shouldn't splurge. And that doesn't just make it harder to get by day to day, it also makes it harder to save money so you can live more comfortably in the future. Well, if people need money, why don't they just apply for a credit card? Or get a loan? That's how I paid for my last three wars. Well, that's a great idea, except that to open a bank account or credit card, our financial institutions require that you already have money or good credit. Wait, so in order to build credit, I need a credit card, but I can't get a credit card unless I have good credit? And if you can't save, even a small unexpected expense can have disastrous consequences. Right now, 46% of Americans say they couldn't afford to pay a surprise bill for just $400. Oh my God, my bike! That's how I get to work, and if I can't get to work, then I can't buy another bike. Curse this vicious cycle! <laughs> He seems lazy. The fact is, poverty in America is almost impossible to escape without help. No, Johnny Appleseed, what happened? I got bankrupted by my medical bills. Turns out an apple a day doesn't keep the doctor away. This isn't right. These are Americans. They deserve the American dream, not this nightmare. Well, ironically, the reason they can't achieve that dream is because we all believe in it too strongly. A survey found that 70% of Americans believe that poor people can make it out of poverty on their own. Be the change you want to see in your can, my friend. Because we believe in this myth, we are far less willing to raise taxes or fund social programs than other wealthy nations. And as a result, we have far greater inequality. Right now, 43.1 million Americans live in poverty, while the richest three Americans have more wealth than the bottom 160 million combined. We have to fix this. Oh, well, there's a lot of things that could help. Affordable housing, free public college. And I know we can do it because we have the best system of government ever devised, given to us by the Constitution, the most perfect founding document the world has ever seen. And we just so happen to have a copy in the America Town Museum. Oh, I love museums, but the Constitution is far from perfect. What? You can take that kind of talk to the filthy commie museum. You have one of those too? <laughs> We've reached the end of the video, which means you have two options. Option one, hit the subscribe and never miss another new video from Adam Ruins Everything ever again. Option two, start reading the comments and weep for humanity.